Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So today I wanna to share with you really cool ratchet cable cutters. As you can see, this can, has a really wide mouth and they're ratchet, so it makes cutting thick cables very easy. Now, um, what I use uh, cable cutters for is usually to cut um, car harnesses and thicker cables, you know, here and there. And normally what I would be using is these. These are really useful, uh, you know, cable cutters and they're inexpensive, they're like 20 bucks or less. Um, these are wise, but you can get some cheap ones now. But this has a hard time to cut really thick stuff. Even if you can get it around, you really have to squeeze really hard. So the next best thing is these, you know, big cable cutters. And these, these are from Harbor Freight. They're about like 20 bucks. Now this works pretty good, but you can't really put, you can't open up the arms really wide in certain areas when you're trying to cut a, a you know, car harness um, or a bunch of different kind of cables. Like I have, uh, you know, uh, electrical cables here and I'm gonna put a bunch of them together to to you know uh, simulate really thick cables and we're gonna show you how easy these cables cut now uh, this because it's a ratchet it doesn't take any effort it's like one click at a time and it'll be slicing and slicing and slicing so yes these have their place really nice to have small stuff to cut you know stuff like this but what the, the the more you put through them you really you know can't really crunch them down these are very nice but you can't really open them up wherever you want them so um these i really i really love them i mean we, we use them you know to cut really thick wires you just loop it around and um you go now i am going to leave a link in down in the description for these on amazon um, I believe there's different prices there, but you know, for, for this kind of version, they're like $27. They go up to $50, they go up to $70. It really depends, you know, which ones you, you know, you know, you're going to get, but, um, I'll leave the link for those and these, because these are the most common. They're very, very nice. Now, um, let's see. I mean, obviously thin stuff, it's going to be very easy to cut. There's not, there's no point of having these cable cutters for just regular stuff like this because regular cable cutters were cut. But let me just show you how easy, this is a really thick car harness. Now, if I put this, you know, car harness right here, you could do it with the cover on it, totally fine. Look at this guys, you just ratchet, it's slow, it's so easy. You just keep on going until you finish the ratchet. Now, the only problem with these uh, with this is the last one or two, they kind of get stuck in here because those little, you know, depending if you're cutting these little thin wires, but not too big of a deal. Now, I'll show you, it can go through the skin with the, with the you know, wire wrap, no problem. This might even prevent the copper uh, str uh, strains getting caught. So as you can see, you can, two fingers guys, two fingers. What kind of cable cutters you, can you find that you can cut the whole wire harness? Look at that. And it, it, with two fingers, guys, two fingers. Now, um, we can even, let's double it up. So we have two car harnesses and these are pretty big. Let's see if we can stuff them in there. Actually, we can stuff in there. Let's put three. So we're gonna do three of the same car harness, guys, because might as well, let's see if we can lock it. Okay, we just locked in three, guys, okay? This is ridiculous. Never even tried three, but I'm pretty sure. Well, we gotta lock it in. Okay. Nope, we didn't lock it in. This is too big. Okay. Nope. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> I think we have to. All right, guys, so we're back. We had a little bit of technical difficulty because I couldn't get the ratchet to lock in. And the reason why is you're really not supposed to be putting, you know, that much uh, material inside. So I figured as soon as the ratchet clicks on, it will ratchet, but there's a certain point. It's after like a quarter inch of the ratchet, the, the, the teeth gear, um, after that it grabs it. But anyway, I got it in finally. I, I had to really push it on just to make sure I get to the teeth because I wanted to show you if it can do three uh, car harnesses. Um, and I didn't try this yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. Now, it's not that much difficult to do it. Let's see if I can do it with two fingers. I can't do it with two fingers anymore. Actually, almost two fingers still, but helping with the third one. So it's a little bit harder, so I can do it with three, just to show you how easy. But anyway, let's just do it normally because you're not gonna be using your three fingers. So I'm just ratcheting it and it's still simply easy. 
a little bit harder, but look at that. Everything is just slicing through. Getting easier, easier. All right, guys, look at that. It's slit, it's sliced through. It's sliced through, oh, there we go. Three car harnesses, guys. That's crazy. That's a lot. And that's with ease. Now, aside from that, let's, uh, you know, these, these are smaller car harnesses. It's the same thing. I use the bigger ones. Um, another thing that people might be using these for, I'm, I'm assuming, is if you have a lot of, uh, if you're doing demolition in the house and you're removing a lot of copper wire, um, you know, these cables are a little bit more solid because they're not the thin, flexible ones for the car. So let's see how it does. Also, never try to, you can always release it too. If you press this button, you can release it. That's another thing that was, I thought that was happening because we had a big load in here that I just kept on press, pushing it down, but it, that was not the case. I made a little mark here. So that's where it grabs right here. So you have to go about to here before it starts grabbing. So anyway, let's see if we can uh, cut these. These are thicker wire inside. There you go. This is very simply, uh, fairly easy to do it getting a little more difficult, but look at that. Guys, that's crazy. Let's, uh, let's stick as much as we can in here. Okay, so I have to try to close it, so I'm gonna because I'm putting way more than I need in there and there's that limitation. So let's see if I got, okay, got it. Look how many wires I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, um, 20 gauge, uh, 20 amp or whatever. Yeah, this is, uh, which one is this? This is, anyway, this is a heavy duty uh, wire for like your GFIs, but look at this. Not any really harder. Maybe it's a little bit harder, but nevertheless, <clears throat> getting tired doing this, but. Guys, look at that. That's, that's crazy. That's like two inches wide almost. But just to show you, if I wanted to cut four, three of these, see, you can, if even if I grab them, you can't squeeze it. You have to, push like that. Let's try two, just to show you the difference. So two of them, if you get enough leverage, you can cut it with these snips. But I just did a whole handful, guys. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave a, li a link in the description below, guys, for you. If you guys uh, are gonna pick uh, yourself up one of these or the other one, it would be awesome if you use that link, just because it does, they do kick back a few cents for us every single time. And you know, those do multiply after a certain point. But um, yeah, this is really nice. You can, I'm pretty sure this can cut because it says you can do aluminum and copper. I'm, I'm assuming it's talking about wire, but I'm, I really wanted to test it to see if it's going to cut a copper pipe uh, because, you know, cutting, you know, scrapping, cutting, cutting copper pipes um, would be ideal, but I didn't want to damage it. But you know what? Just for the sake of the video, let me just get a copper pipe. I'm going to slice that for you just to see if it actually can do it. All right, guys, here we go. This is a copper wire. I'm just gonna try to sacrifice these just to see. I'm actually curious myself, will it do it? Ready, guys? Without damaging, of course. Actually, that was so easy. There's no way it could damage it because that's how e it was really easy. But let's do the next size up, copper, okay? Guys, no problem. Next size up copper. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we can even cut two pieces. I'm gonna overlap them and we'll see if this actually will cut it. Because I'm that confident. And this is all with one hand, guys. Oh, it is getting difficult, but nope, I feel it. It went through.
Guys, amazing. You can actually use this to scrap and cut pieces. I mean, if you're gonna be robbing a house and you wanna take all their copper, don't do that. But if you were, this would be really cool to have. Very quiet and you can snip a lot of copper. But um, aside from that, guys, this, this, this is awesome. Um, I wanna try something else. What else can we try? Um, I wanna try something. Let me see if I can get a bigger pipe. All right, guys, so we already cut a half inch pipe, three quarter inch pipe, and we're gonna be doing a one inch copper pipe, which is pretty hefty. We do have a bigger one over there, but I don't think that one's gonna fit. I think that one's like an inch and a half uh, or inch and a quarter. So we're gonna pop this on right here. And let's start ratcheting. Let's see if this thing can actually cut through. It is a lot harder, but now it's getting easier. As soon as it cuts through, it's a lot easier. All right, guys. Well, it's sliced through that pretty simple, uh, pretty nicely. And uh, yeah, I don't see any damage on the copper pipe. So I'm assuming whatever fits in here on the copper pipe, you can cut it. I even did the double. Um, with a half inch and three quarters. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link down below guys. If you guys are interested, you can come check that out. But um, yeah, these actually work pretty good. I'm pretty sure you can use them for a lot of other applications, but in this case, copper pipes, which is not, in, well, it's not intended for that, but a wire car harnesses, beautiful guys. Thanks for watching and have a great one.